how can I be made perfect in love? Where love is present, fear is absent. Be consumed with the love of God. Be consumed with the promises of God. Be consumed with the scriptures that promise that God is a present help in the time of trouble. Be consumed with the scriptures that suggest that God said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Be consumed with the love of God. And then it gives you confidence that faithful is he that promised who also will do it. Be consumed with the word of God and know that he that keepeth Israel neither slumber nor sleep. Be consumed with the word of love of God and know that his name is Ebenezer. Be made perfect in love. So when the negative comes, you say, no, this is not part of the promises. Be consumed with the promises of God. It is only perfect love that can cast away fear. Only perfect love. That's why Peter asked a question. Peter said, if it is you. Because he has confidence in Christ. Because he knew he, he can't fail. If it is you, bid me come. <laughs> fear left when he said come. He began to walk on the water. When you know who has promised. When you know who has spoken. When you know who is behind the word of God. Fear leaves. Oh, hallelujah. Perfect love cast that away fear. How do I cast it out? Be love conscious. Be love consumed. Be love driven. For the love of God is shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost. Perfect love, cast off here. Perfect love. When you know how much you are loved, he that spared not his son, but delivered him for us all. How shall he not with him freely? Give us all this. I ask you a question once again. What is it that cast it off here? Perfect love. Fear has torment, and fear can be tormented. The best way to handle fear is to constantly expose yourself to love. It is a mystery, but love is a secret to a fearless life. I repeat, love is a secret to a fearless life. Love is a secret to a fearless life. The last time I read my scripture, it said love never fails. It does not fail. It does not fail. According to 1 Corinthians I think, I think chapter 13, verse 8, love never fails. It's a secret to a fearless life. So expose yourself to the love of God in this season. For such a time as this, I speak to you and I speak to every family and everyone under the sound of my voice. Expose yourself more to the love of God. I like you to personalize the love. I know the scripture says, for God so loved the world. Locate scriptures that suggest his personal love to you. For he loves you the same way he loved Jesus. Jude 1 21. Keep yourselves in the love of God. You are the one to keep yourself in the love of God. Already you're loved. Already the love is yours. But you have a responsibility to stay there. <laughs> ah, say stay there. <laughs> say I stay in his love. Ah, the Bible says in him we live. So in love, you remember God is love. <laughs> God is love. In him we live. In him we move. And in him we have our being. Stay in love. If any man be in Christ, I am in love. Be encapsulated in love. Keep yourself in the love. And fear goes. Ah, hallelujah. Keep yourself. Keep yourself in the love of God. Keep, you have a responsibility. I don't know who I'm talking to. Wow. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay in the love. That's a zone where we are. Stay in the love. Stay in the love. That's the reign of the believer. Stay in the love. Keep yourself in the love of God. That scripture says. And then it says, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because within the boundaries of love is the mercy of God. What did I say? Within the boundaries of love is a mercy of God. I, I don't know. I hope it's getting clearer, clearer now, clearer now. Within the boundaries of love is a mercy of God. The mercy of God is within the boundaries of his love. 
Ah, may cease an exemption from judgment. I pray for everyone who is within the boundaries of love. You are far from judgment. You are far from evil. You will not go down. You will not bury any. In the name of Jesus, life answers to you. Life will obey you. Your word will prevail. Circumstances will obey you. Can I hear louder? Amen.